guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at one of my favorite parking lots because you know what? We have a very interesting car. This is a 2021 Infiniti Q60 Red Sport 400 all-wheel drive. But before we get into this mouthful of a GT sports car, let's talk about what's going on here. Infiniti, the premium brand of Nissan, is going to be doing a little bit of a renaissance of their own, just like the Nissan brand. Now, what's fascinating is that this Q60, being a Red Sport 400, has a glimpse of what that 2022 Nissan Z is going to have. That's that twin turbo V6 underneath the hood, 400 horsepower. It's fascinating because this car has been around since 2017. And even though it hasn't gone through a major redesign yet, still looking very, very fresh aesthetically, almost like a timeless design. But what I want to find out is that if you're looking at the competition, the Lexus RCF, the BMW M440i, is this Infiniti Q60 Red Sport 400, is it not only a long name, but is it the one to be parking in your garage that just has that unique style and driving experience that maybe the competition doesn't have? Also, I want to find out, really, is this a glimpse to the Nissan Z with that same engine setup? But why don't we go ahead, let's dive into this 2021 model and find out. Right off the bat, I love the lines on this car, especially the proportions. When you start at the front of the business, great job on the styling of the LED daytime running lamps, especially the way you have the top brow and then you have that lower section. You do have a projector beam LED headlight in there. Most of it is blacked out on the interior with just a little bit of shiny chrome. We drop down. The good news is no fake vent. It actually houses a LED uh, fog lamp and I'm liking the carbon fiber trim. Almost looks like a vent but I'm glad they saved it by putting the fog lamp in there. Now, I like the way they have this little extra lip extension built into the front fascia, but I'll be honest with you. This carbon fiber, which is the real deal, looks great. I would like to see a carbon fiber splitter added to it. I think that would just be the cherry on top of this beautiful Sunday. Now, as we come across that low slung hood, all gloss black, and I'm glad they went in that direction. You know, I've seen it with Chrome, looks tasteful as well, but the gloss black with the white really pops nicely. You have that infinity badge up top. It's got a nice wavy feel to the grill. It's not just a simple, you know, hexagon shape or honeycomb, uh, honeycomb shape. I like the way it almost looks like waves on an ocean. Now drop down that same design. This is flat black to take a little bit better beating, but the great news is all functional. And as you can see, you do have that little lip extension but it would just be perfect to have that splitter, especially carbon fiber. Now, when we get up onto that low slung hood, you do have a rise here coming off of the grill into the top portion of the front fascia and then disappears as you get into the hood. Simple, but just visually aesthetic lines. You're just gonna have a nice rise on each side and it goes towards the eight pillars. Now, as we come around the bend on this Red Sport 400, what are we working with? Wheel and tire. So up front, you can see you're going to get this five-spoke wheel, machine aluminum with that gunmetal gray metallic finish. And you know what? I think it's working. It really works well with the color of this car. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this wheel? It's a 20-inch wheel, 255 on the width, 35 series sidewall. You got that bright red four-piston caliper, going to clamp down on a fully ventilated rotor. And I don't know, I think a lot of wheels, they're going to black. Everybody's using black color. It's nice to have something just a little bit different. And like I said, with this pearlescent white, I think it balances nicely, especially with that, that tomato sauce red caliper that you have there that is also gonna give us some nice braking capability. Now, as we go down the fender, you are gonna have this side vent, which is functional with the carbon fiber, which is nice kind of ties it into what's happening at the front of the business. You'll notice a nice side sill extension, flat black, but then you're gonna get the body colored extension that goes all the way down and kind of tapers as it comes into that flared fender kind of look. Now, full carbon fiber mirror cap. So we have carbon fiber up front, on the sides and on the mirror caps. You do have a sunroof. Would have been nice if they blacked out the whole roof. That would have been a nice extra touch. Some bright, shiny metalwork on the door handle and on the base of where the window frame is. I wish they would have went like black chrome. So I am going to zonk 
the shiny metal work, but I do like the design. I mean, how unique is that, especially for that large quarter window? Love the way the body line picks up here. That's that width. I want to look at the rear, though, and just really showcase that you're going to get those nice calipers both at the front of the vehicle and also at the back. And of course, we're getting all-wheel drive that's going to keep us stuck to the ground, and you're going to get 255s out back as well. All four corners, 255 on that width. When we come around to the tail end of the business, they finish it off with a beautiful carbon fiber trunklet spoiler. I love the way it extends out. Look at the way the trunk kind of goes in, but then the carbon fiber spoiler comes off. This is a functional piece. You got your all-wheel drive badge, tasteful on the taillights, the infinity name, Q60S, 400, Red Sport, nicely done. And then we drop back. And I really am digging the exhaust. Nice, simple, round, slash cut, and the little intricate design that they did. If you noticed, if you were watching the Nissan Z review that we did at the headquarters, same exact exhaust with a gloss black lower rear bumper area. But why don't we pop that hood and see that twin turbo power? All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. I like the engine cover, very tasteful. And like I said, this gives us a glimpse into the upcoming 2022 Z. But what are we looking at? We're looking at that three liter V6 twin turbo, 400 horsepower, 350 pound feet of torque. Little bit of a bummer, there's only one transmission option. It is a seven speed automatic. Zero to 60 in about 4.3 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna go by at 12.7 seconds. Top speed is 150 miles an hour. The car weighs around 4,000 pounds. MPGs, 19 in the city, 26 on the highway. When you're comparing this to the competition, you think RCF, RCF is gonna pull in a little bit more horsepower, M440i, a little bit less, but you know what? Why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this Infiniti Q60 Red Sport 400 all-wheel drive. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I almost forgot about this car. I'm looking at the others. I'm looking at the competition, and I'm so glad that you brought this. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. Well, you're welcome. No problem. This is what I'm here for. And if you're wondering, well, how much is it? MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is right at $67,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Absolutely beautiful style on the door panels. I love the red stitching up top, soft material. You have a little bit of this dark chrome finish, but then look what followed us from the outside in. We have some carbon fiber, more red stitching, super soft on the armrest, door pad pocket's a pretty good size. You could probably get a Whopper in there and a can of Coca-Cola. And we have the Bose Performance sound system with a nice tasteful aluminum speaker cover there, if I do say so myself. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, I like the way this portion is way forward for the passenger. You do get the stitching, which is great, but then things are going to get a little wonky here. So, like I was saying about the exterior being timeless, the interior is not as timeless. You do have that older split screen set, set up, eight inches up top, seven inches down below. The great news is you're eight inches up top. You're gonna to be getting navigation. Put it in the reverse. That's where we have our backup camera. Now it's a little on the grainy side, but the good news is we got 360 cam trajectory and you could change the view. Look at those 20 inch wheels bling bling 20 inch wheels so nice to have that kind of flexibility i do like the way they brought more carbon fiber though that is a nice touch you got the start stop button up top over here seven inch display obviously apple carplay sirius xm is it a touch screen yes of course it's a touch screen watch see i touched it and it did something so i'm going to go back to channel list here and then we're going to you know how we do it on radies rise where we're we going we're going 80s on eight heck yeah little bit of gloss black. It's interesting because if it was just this screen, I think it would just be perfect. But because of the two screens, I don't know. I'm uh, just something a little bit bothersome. But this is the forward-facing camera that we have up top, which is great for you to see. 
Now, as you come down, you do have a CD player, so get out your Pearl Jam CDs, maybe some Warrant, maybe some Sir Mix-a-Lot. Whatever your, your flavor of music is, pop that CD in there. You do have your dual climate control, and what's interesting is, watch this. I have buttons over here to go through the dual climate, but you could also go this route. Watch this, climate. Now I could adjust it right on the screen. Of course, you got a heated steering wheel, or like they say here, steering heater. Easily touch, I don't need it right now because it's a kind of a hot day here in Florida, and then we're right back again. Drop, keep dropping down. You do have heated seats, but no ventilated seats, and that's a zonk. At this price point, I would like to have ventilated seats. We open up this little guy. I'm gonna move the shifter out of the way. You have a little tiny felt line cubby. What I would probably put in here is maybe if you have some diamonds, like maybe you're just walking around with some diamonds, some loose diamonds in your pocket, you could drop it in here and they won't get scratched. You do have a 12 volt. We'll close it back up. There's that gloss black. Put this back in a park. This is gonna control the seven speed automatic, like the stitching, the Infinity logo, and that dark chrome aluminum finish is looking slick. You do have that rotary knob to control through your navigation. We could go camera angles and everything, which is real easy. You do have a drive mode selector, and I'm gonna have Lori go back to the infotainment and show you that drive mode selector knob. So let me go ahead, put it in drive, put it back in the park, hit home, click three times, and here we are. Click my heel three times, there's no place like home, and there we are. There's our different modes. This is what I wanted to show you, the Sport Plus, Sport, Standard, Eco, and Snow. So that's gonna adjust how the vehicle behaves. And then you could also do personal settings. But you know what? I don't wanna get personal right now uh, with the Infiniti Q60, so we're gonna leave it on Sport Plus. That's how we do it on Radies Rides. The carbon fiber, I'm telling you, somebody spilled a bucket in here, and I'm so happy that they did. Two cup holders. Key fob is dated, but you know what? It does look really, really good. And you have remote start with the Infinity Badge, and it's super light, so it's not gonna pull your pants down. Nice and soft with the red stitching. Open this guy up. Now you have more felt lining. You have a USB-C, a USB, an aux jack, and a 12 volt. Easily put, I would say seven iPhone 47s in there. All right, 46s. I know the 47s are hard to get right now, but put those gold-plated 40. Sixes, those iPhone 46s won't get scratched. Seats, love the styling. Let me see if I can fix this a little bit. There we go. Love the headrest, the stitch work, perforated, nice bolstering, power assist for the passenger and the driver. And we got plenty of headroom, even with the sunroof. Standard size sunroof, feeling good. I'm six feet tall. This is really, really a wonderful place to be. Come on over to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of the Q60. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this Infinity. Speaking of Infinity, you got this nice aluminum sill plate with the Infinity name that's gonna light up at night. Foot box, good size. I do like the aluminum pedals. I wish that dead pedal was just a little bit larger though. The great news though is that they look very classy. So I am digging that. You do have two memory seat settings. And speaking of settings, you do have your power seat controls, easy to get to, including also the top adjustment of the bolstering you can get it to squeeze you and hold you just like your first girlfriend did back in maybe ninth grade if you were lucky seats though feel good steering wheel i love it the thickness is perfect the red stitching is on point there's that dark aluminum chrome finish i was telling you about that looks great even the way they did the horn button looks classy flat black on the buttons you do have plastic paddles to go up and down that seven speed automatic transmission only transmission where it gets a little dated that some people might not really like are the gauges. I don't mind it. I do like the way they did the bezels around there, a little bit of decoration to kind of tie it in with everything else, but you have your tech, you have your speedometer, coolant, and fuel gauge, and then you have that digital display in the center, which you could scroll through some information. One of those things where, yes, there are brands like BMW doing full digital gauge pods, but hey, I still think analog gauges are where they're at Overall, though, very, very comfy. We're going to do it because I know you're probably going to complain if we don't. Let's go ahead and get into the back seat and see how usable it is in this Q60. Hey, guys. We're in the back seat. I'm already back here. If you're wondering, are you okay, Joe? This is how I'm going to have to ride back here. So there are two seats. Nice leather. The stitch work is great. You got two cup holders. No connectivity and no rear AC vents, which the competition does have. So don't say, hey, where's the AC vents? 
There shouldn't be any. The competition does have them. You do have two pockets on the backs of the seats, which is nice. And you could probably put a back scratcher in there, maybe a, a nice little small throw pillow because I'm gonna, you're gonna want something to kind of soften this up a little bit because being six feet tall, if I sit upright, this is me. So two cup holders and a Skittles tray, not the most comfortable of places, but hey, I can at least come with you wherever you're going. Just please make sure it's less than 10 miles. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the trunk, which remember there's no actual armrest here, Let's get to the trunk, see how much we can haul because we're about to haul some mail on throttle. All right guys, trunk time. Hit the trunk release button, pops up, lift it up. The great news is you have a good size opening and there's some really decent depth to this GT style sports car. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much room is there exactly? You're basically looking at around a little under 10 cubic feet of space. I do really think though that it's usable space that you can enjoy this car easily every single day. Plus you're gonna have that twin turbo power. But since we're talking about twin turbo power, if you're ready, I'm ready. Infinity gave us the keys. Let's go on throttle in this Q60 Red Sport. As we're inside the Infinity Q60 Red Sport 400 all wheel drive from a dead stop. I have it in sport plus mode. Here we go on throttle. Yeah! <laughs> On the brakes. Feeling good. Having an automatic mode, that seven speed automatic doing its thing. On the brakes. good nice <laughs> so let's talk about this for a second this is like I said more of a GT style sports car that gentleman's touring vehicle it definitely has power that 400 horsepower it's gonna be interesting to be in a lighter car rear-wheel drive when we get behind the wheel of the new Z that's coming. But I think one of the things that's kind of throwing me off a little bit is that electronic steering that this has. It's a little bit different experience. I'm wishing it gave me some more feedback, especially in some of those twisty bits. I just don't feel very connected with what the front end of the car is doing. It's definitely planted. Definitely have plenty of grip. So that's the good news with the all-wheel drive system. Seven speed shifts pretty smooth. It wasn't exactly always in the exact gear I wanted, but what we're gonna do is obviously put it over into manual shift mode and take care of that for our next twisty bit go around. But when it comes to the leather, the carbon fiber, the visibility, the seats, those things are spot on spot on the money especially visibility out the back glass i like the side mirrors especially because they're covered in carbon fiber but i just wish there was a little bit more something with the steering and that's you know a unique aspect of the infinity q60 comparing this to say a lexus rcf or a bmw you're, you're gonna be getting a little bit more of everything, especially when it comes to overall power or that connected feeling to what the front wheels are doing. Like I said, all-wheel drive works great, very planted. The gauges are easy to read, easy to understand. I just, it, it just needs to be dialed up a notch. And I do have it, like I said, in sport plus mode. All right guys, manual shift mode, second gear. On oh, throttle, here we go. Nice shifts. Feeling good now. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> nice. Decreasing radius. That was a good one. I, li I really like the way that felt for that turn. Brakes feel phenomenal though. 
definitely feel phenomenal. And we're not talking about six piston calipers or anything like that. Those are four piston calipers up front and definitely nice rock solid pedal feel. Shifting with the paddles allowed me a little bit more control over obviously what the heck is going on here. Uh, steering, like I said, just, just a little bit more feel. Maybe like halfway to almost full on feel. I would just like something a little bit more with the feedback so that I could tell what the car is doing. But the V6 twin turbo, you're not waiting for the boost to kick in. You really are not because it having those two turbos really kind of offsets any kind of boost lag whatsoever. All right, guys, here we are. Ready to do another run from a slow roll, second gear. Let me drop it down the first. Oh, throttle, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Here we go, now we're talking. This corner is great. Yeah, that, oh yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit. Utilizing the paddles is definitely the better way to go especially because of that engagement you're getting. Now, going through that last set of twisty bits, it's, it's, it's hard, you know? You definitely need some more steering feedback. Is it terrible? No, I just would like more feedback and more weight out of the steering so that I know what the front end of the vehicle's doing. The great news is the all-wheel drive keeps you so planted, you're not worried about losing grip. Having that V6 twin turbo power, like I said, you know, the two turbos cut down on that, that boost lag problem and really get you up to speed. What I am really digging are the fine touches in here. These seats are so comfortable and the way that they have the electric assist on the bolstering, but also on that lower lumbar really allows you to, to perfect it to your body type. And then everywhere you look in here, you're, you're getting nice quality materials. I would like metal paddles on the back of the steering wheel. They're a good size. I just would like them out of, made out of metal. I think that would just elevate the, the quality feel, something that you're touching like that. But the steering wheel is a great thickness. And the chassis balance overall is quite impressive, especially on those decreasing radius turns with bumps. The, Q60 really hunkered down, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this translates over to the Nissan Z with it sharing the same engine, but with it being rear-wheel drive and less horsepower. Excuse me, same horsepower, but less weight. So that's gonna be very interesting to see, and of course, we're gonna be featuring on Rady's Rise, but this is really a gentleman's GT touring sports car style of a vehicle. Would I get this over a Lexus RCF? I'm not too sure. The good news is you get all-wheel drive. So I know, especially for people living up north, that's something uh, that's super important with snow and whatnot. But when you're going on those long drives on the highway, this thing really does glide nicely on long straight roads and sucks up all the divots and bumps super, super well. I do like the vantage point I'm getting of the peaks on the fenders allows you to hit your marks really really nicely all right guys here we go one more time on throttle yeah brakes definitely better using the paddles want that polished overall experience driving it every day having some of those finer touches on the interior you could have that as well so 
but we're gonna do a couple more runs just for you. All right, guys, here we go. I throw one more time for you, one more time for me. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, that was nice. Let's see how we do in this transition left to right. Downshift. Nice, that really, right, see right there was really telling. The chassis was able to go left to right. Is it as flat as I want it in the corners with the overall handling? No but being able to go left to right so quickly and back on throttle really showed the work that you're getting with the tuning of the suspension, with the chassis setup and everything else. So that's the really, really good news about that. All right, guys, it's been another great day here with this Infiniti, say it with me, Q60 Red Sport 400 all-wheel drive. I wanna thank everybody over at Infiniti USA for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. You know, life is all about having choices. If they only made one car and that was it, it would be kind of boring. But it's nice, Infiniti, making this GT style sports car, having some unique features, unique touches, and definitely a shape that is very, very timeless. It is interesting though, to put this up to the competition and you definitely want to take one of these for a spin if you're thinking going maybe the Lexus or the BMW route. But if you want to keep seeing cars like these, these GT, performance style sports cars leave a comment in the comment section if you're new and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radies rise family if you want to help us keep making great content two ways to do it is just for you click the first link become a radies rise patreon member click the second link get yourself some radies rise merch got to give it up to the queen of the camera Lori is rocking that camera like a champ show her some love in the comment section thank you Lori, for busting your butt out here and just like always guys I'll see you on the next ride.